Well, the other day, I happened on a chance meeting of a lifetime. Um, a friend of mine contacted me and, and sent me some uh, pictures of some mowers, some, some old lawn tractors and stuff. Um, you know, through text message and everything. These were posted on some Facebook, buy, sell, trade, something or other, whatever. Uh, anyway, one of them happened to be something that caught my eye. Something like I, like I just mentioned, a chance meeting. A Mustang. Yes, right. A Mustang mower. I've been wanting one of those little tiny, like a Huffy or the Mustang or a Pinto. Something. I've been wanting one of those little tiny uh, lawn tractors, little riding lawn mowers for a very long time. And they're just always hard to find. Or if I do find them, they're just beat to tar. And... Um, just, they, people just like they, they price them way too high. Uh, I've, I've seen really beat up ones for like three, four hundred dollars. No, no, no way, no way. Uh, they are rare in my area. Um, like I said, this was just perfect. I mean, it's it's pretty rusty. It's it's, it's beat up, but it's all there. And uh, he wanted fifty bucks for it. And personally, me, I wouldn't even have negotiated. But my my buddy, he negotiated for me, <laughs> so I got it for forty. Went and picked it up last night. Um, the guy I had it, he was really cool too. He was big into these mowers. And he liked uh, customizing the, the Mustangs and all the little Huffies. You know, he liked those little mowers, making them into racing mowers. And uh, kind of a, kind of like me, he just real into mechanical stuff and, and tractors and motorbikes and things with engines and stuff. So he was real cool. I talked to the guy about an hour and by the time I left his house, it was dark, so I couldn't even make a video. So anyway, without further ado, I'm, I'm just going to show you this thing, and we're going to go over it together. I've, I've looked it over a little bit, but for the most part, I don't know a whole lot about it right now. So anyway, well, there she is, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, a from what I can tell, a 1971 model. Um, took me forever to find the code. It's right under here. I'll try to zoom in on it. Right there. There's your model, type, and code. Uh, so 71. So. If it's true, this could be a 71 model, or it could be a 72 even. Uh, I believe that is the original engine. Um, it looks to be all there. Steering is seized up though. Uh, I can't turn the wheel at all. The grill's smashed in pretty bad. All the mount tabs are broken and torn, so it just it's, it's, it's pretty bad. I mean, it's just hanging on by a thread. Um, missing the keepers here for this kingpin. Um, but it has all the original wheels on it still. It has these awesome ag tires on the back. I like that. These are all hard, hard rubber tires. You know, it's got some dry cracks in it. Chain's there, but it's broken and rusted. I mean, this thing just literally just stays wherever you put it <laughs> but it's a good thing it's broke because um, I wouldn't be able to roll this otherwise because my transmission don't want to move either so transmission seems to be stuck in whatever it gear or I don't know um, motor however does turn over it is free it does have a blade so I and I've turned the motor over a couple a couple revolutions. Nothing nothing too fast or nothing. Um, gas tank is pretty rusty. Uh, gas caps rusted on there. I don't I don't want to fight it right now or try to force it. So I'm just going to put some penetrating glue on. See if I can break it free later. Pull start missing. Um, all the linkages for the carburetor pretty seized up. None of this stuff. Well, that, I just, I barely, okay, well, there it goes. I, I barely pushed down on it, it finally broke free, so, okay, that's good. Um, 
that's all shattered this plastic thing it's all busted in fact this was hooked to the gas tank and I barely touched it earlier when I was just kind of glancing over it and uh, it just snapped right off it's, it's this fuel line is just it's toast anyway spark plug wire looks all right really crispy old spark plug <laughs> No throttle cable, it's missing. It's flared out a little here, here too. Love that squeaking. Um, bushing here is gone. Actually, it, it just crumbled a while ago. I, it just fell apart. Um, yeah. Get this thing, pick this thing up right quick. I do like the fact it's pretty light. Show you all the underbelly. I've always wondered how they did the adjustment on these. The guy was explaining this to me. It's pretty neat. Take out these discs to change your blade uh, height. Right now it's pretty low. It's lower than the uh, than the deck itself. But I did notice there are some holes. Yeah, you just saw my finger go through that. Look at that. Lovely. <laughs> There's a couple more up here. Nothing too bad. I mean, this is good old-fashioned American steel. I, I can fix it. Rear axle turns pretty good. So. It's definitely... A project. These wheels are cool. I love this. Need some grease and some oil. You can see how badly this is tore up. Good, good angle here. You can see how smashed in this is, and it's really pitted. Now, that's pretty much it from a. Uh, Initial inspection standpoint. Um, just back around here. <clears throat> as far as what I'm going to do with it right now, I, I don't know. Um, first thing I'm going to do, my main concern is free up the transmission and see if I can get the motor fired up. If I can get the transmission freed up and the motor fired, I'll go from there. Um, i trying to think. I don't know if I want to convert it to a racing mower or anything like that. It's tempting. Um, I've never had one of these. I've always wanted to get one and fix it up and mow with it. I always thought that'd be really cool. <laughs> It's so tiny. <laughs> um, we'll just have to go from there, pretty much. Um, I'm, I'm walking and thinking at the same time. Um, I don't know. I, I've got ideas. I've got all these crazy ideas in my head. Um, I was thinking maybe, like, uh, customizing it, make it run, but customize it. Uh, maybe paint it like grabber yellow, like a Mustang color, you know, so it kind of stays true with the Mustang. Maybe even put Mustang horse on it and Mustang logo. That'd be kind of cool. Different. Um, it would be kind of cool to just throw some little, a uh, little bit bigger tires on it, like not, not racing selection or nothing, but like just, you know, a little bit meatier tires and just make it kind of like a rat rod or something, but still mow. I'd like to make it cut grass. So, I don't know yet, I, I know I've got a ton of mower projects, I know I hardly ever work on them, but I think this little Mustang, as small as it is, there's not a lot to it, I think it'd be an easy project to work on, I just gotta really sit down and think what I'm gonna do with it. Um, like I said, main concerns is, unstick the transmission, see if I can fire up the motor, um, 
see if I can get the steering freed up. That's the other thing. Um, and uh, a chain. I need a ch I need a replacement chain. So that's, there's four things I got to worry about. But main two is <laughs> see if the motor's even good. You know, see if I can get it to fire in the transmission. That's my two things. Um, we'll go from there. But anyway, yes, I got a Mustang mower finally. Uh, that's awesome. Part of me just says, hey, paint it up Ford blue and white and just put the Ford ovals on it and Mustang logos, whatever. But I want to do something a little bit different, but kind of stay true to the original design somewhat. It just depends on how far everything is gone, I, you know. Anyway, that's all for now. Uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for all the subscribers that subscribe to me. Um, get the word out. Get more people subscribed to me. You know, rate my videos, comment on my videos. Every little bit helps. Um, I know I don't say it a whole lot, but I do appreciate all the feedback I get and comments. And it, it means something to me, actually. When I see my videos get a lot of likes or a lot of comments or views, it, it means I'm doing something right. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Later.